My name is Nathan and I've been finding leaks in swimming pools for over 20 years. As a professional leak detector, one simple tool I use every day is my set of quick plug die testing cones, which saves me untold hours troubleshooting leaks in pools. When I'm called out to a pool to find the leak, the first thing I need to figure out is if the underground plumbing is okay or is it the source of the leak. Once I can answer that question, I know what direction I have to take. My quick plugs answer that question within 60 seconds, without cutting up the pipes or pressure testing the plumbing, even without removing the jet nozzles. It's pretty simple how they work, but the question they answer is super important. Are those pipes broken underground? Yes or no? Now we're testing a pool that's been shut off for 20 minutes or so, and the water calm. Let's pretend we have a broken pipe under the deck. A simple fact is if a pool is losing a half inch of water a day, that's about 200 gallons. Then the pipes will be pulling in water from the pool. If we add a red tracer die in front of the pipe, we can trace the flow of water loss into the pipe. The idea is simple until there are three or more return lines and the draw die is not so apparent. With some jets in the sun and some jets in the shade, natural convection currents can mislead you with the flow in and out of the pipes. So five of the red testing cones have solid tips and act as stoppers so they physically stop any flow of water in or out of that pipe. The yellow cone has a hole completely through it which is tested for water flow into the pipe. Sure it's a simple concept but it's so so powerful to be able to test a lot of different plumbing systems in the pool. The pointed cone shape fits the smallest spa jet nozzle down to a quarter inch and every pool pipe up to two and a quarter inches such as a two-inch suction line in a bottom drain pot. Here's an example of a spa that's losing a half inch a day. I already dove the spa and sealed the light, but the customer insists the spa still leaks. Without even removing the jet nozzles, I can tell it's not the light this time. Instead, we have a plumbing problem under the deck. That's exactly what these cones are for. Now compared to a large pool, this spa is a small body of water, and the plumbing leak is tiny but it shows the sensitivity and precision of these plugs and that they can determine the smallest of leaks in pipes. Bottom drain pipes are especially easy to troubleshoot with these cones. I always die test a bottom drain pipe to see if it's broken, but with the new safety codes for double drains, the pipe in the second drain has to be stopped up for the die to be effective. This spa actually has three separate pipes that need to be checked. This pool has a broken bottom drain pipe, possibly underneath the pool. I don't chase the location of broken bottom drain pipes much anymore. I plug off the pipes with a threaded sewer cap and recommend an automatic pool vacuum such as the Hayward Navigator to circulate the water near the bottom of the pool. Pop-up floor cleaning heads such as caretaker systems and paramount heads are easy to test with these cones. Isolate the zone and then test up to six heads at a time. So we showed you what a leak looks like with the cones. What if the plumbing system is not leaking? Well the die will just hang there or breathe in and out depending on the wave action of the body of water. Thank you for watching my video. These cones are available for sale at PoolLeakAcademy.com. Also, take a second to check out our Pool Leak Repair Kit, which features a die testing video included. This repair kit has everything for the homeowner who wants to find and fix the leak in their own swimming pool. If you ever considered a career in leak detection, we also have a professional leak detection training set of five DVDs for those who want to start their own leak detection business. It has five DVDs and a full color manual full of useful information for the beginning leak detector or pool service tech. Lastly, our new video on cracked plastic light housings is finally up on YouTube. It shows the epidemic of leaks caused by this poorly designed plastic light housing that's been in use since the early 90s. Help get the word out about this problematic pool fixture. Thank you for watching my video and have a great day.